my angels. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! You want to cry? Sorry, 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 sorry. Look, I'm sorry I'm late, okay? Sorry. Dad, this is unlike you. You I came very late. Very, very late. And, so and we are checking on that. Song. I said I'm sorry. Okay, let's go in first. I will explain to you why, why I was late, okay? okay? Go inside. Come on. Ah. Nathan, he's squeezing his face. I'm sorry. See, what happened is this. I asked your mom to come pick you up. Huh? And she promised she would. So, when it was close to your closing time, I called. And she screamed. And she forgot completely. You know, so I had to stop everything I was doing to come and pick you guys up. Please, huh? don't be angry with me. Okay? Okay. We're not angry with you, Dad. You know, you don't always come late to pick us up. So now you came late. It's for a good reason. So we're not angry with you, okay? Oh. And I'm not either. Oh. Not angry. Thank you, my angels. Thank you. Um, Dad. Yes. I think you should personally warn it and about this is football or whatever. Because it's getting so obsessed with you. So uh, imagine it just he almost Yes, I I almost got it um seized by my teacher. Yeah, but I told her I will not bring it to school again, so she let me go with it. Look, Nathan, I only allowed you to take that ball to school because you told me that uh, you, you you play with your friends during break. You know, but now that your teacher is uh, upset by it. I won't allow you to take him to school again, okay? Okay, Dad. Good. Would you, of course. And one more thing. Anytime we are late to pick you up from school, don't track. Hmm? It's either you take the school bus or you wait for us to come. Either your mom or I, okay? Okay, okay Dad. Good. Um, Dad. Yes. Why not agree with you? But don't you think the the best way to apologize to us is getting us one cup of ice cream each. Yes, Dad! I totally uh, agree with her. Uh, no, my, <laughs> my angels. Uh, look, this is emotional blackmail. Eh? Dad. It's alright. It's alright. I give up. I'll, I'll buy for it. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream! Watch out for your ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Uh, I'm going to take it. I can. I can. Love you, Dad. I love you too, Dad. It's alright. I love you, my angels. Love you more than she loves you. Dad, you cook so well. Mm. Like the food is really delicious. Yes, Dad. Yeah. I'm starting to suspect mm. that you're hiding the fact that you once worked in a five-star eatery as a chief ah. chef. Because it's only a chef that can cook this good. Yes, Dad. Well, thanks for the compliments, my angels. But I can assure you I didn't work as a chef. Hmm? Dad, are you sure? Very sure. Dad, I want more food. I want oh, more. After finishing. Hello. Good afternoon, How are you, darling? Good afternoon. All right. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, in fact, I'm sorry I couldn't go to school to pick you kids. Hey. Why are you two still angry? I said I'm sorry. 
All right, an important client called me very late, so I couldn't disappoint him. I stayed back. Important client? Wait, is a client more important than the safety of your own children? Never... No, sweetheart, I never said so. I said I was sorry earlier. Please, I really am. Dad came to pick us from school, then he drove us to the mall, and then he brought us back home. And also he made love for us. Oh, I see. And you're just coming home. Coming to say sorry. We sorry change the fact that you really have time for your children. Will sorry change the fact that Nathan almost got knocked down by a car? What? No, no, no! Hold on! Sweetheart, wait! Mom, sorry can't fix everything. How many times have I warned your children never to trek home? What is wrong with your children? Congratulations, best mother of the year. Oh, don't talk to me like that. I'm still your mother. Hmm? Wait, are you? No, tell me, are you? A mother knows her responsibilities and you don't. At least act like one. Excuse me. Will you shut up? And why are you smiling? Are you happy now? You watch them talk to me like her, as if I'm not your mother. You couldn't even do anything to stop them. Yet you called yourself a good husband. Look at you. Well, um, I, I have to compliment Nathan to congratulate you for winning an award of the best mother of the year. You abandoned your children. You heard what she said. Nathan was almost knocked down because of your negligence. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are a disgrace to motherhood. Oh no. I'm not a disgrace, Anathan. Just look at you. You're a good husband. Mm. You watch children talk to me like that. You're not raising them well. Holier than thou, man. What the hell he prepared for my children? This is rubbish. I cook better than you. <laughs> My own is better. No matter what, even if his point offering is better than eating a biscuit or like that. So, Isaac caught Ijeniko, and Ijeniko is a funny creature, but very likable. You know, it was making fun and Isaac loved it. So Isaac decided to take Ijeniko home. When they got home, Ijeniko cried. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. So Isaac fed Ijeniko. In less than two minutes, Ijeniko started. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. Isaac fed it again. That was how Isaac fed Ijeniko with every single food that he had in his house. And Ijeniko continued, I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. At a point, Isaac got fed up. And he was equally in the mood to eat. And Isaac was confused. Ijeniko was crying. I am hungry. I am hungry. 
I am hungry. Isaac got angry and killed Ijeniko. Prepared very delicious meal with Ijeniko and ate. In less than two minutes, Ijeniko started crying inside his stomach. I am hungry. Jesus. I am hungry. I am hungry. And Isaac's stomach was making. Brrr, brrr, brrr. So, from that day on, human beings started feeling hungry. So, anytime you are hungry, it is Ijeniko that is crying in your stomach. I am hungry. And that is the genesis of human beings getting hungry. <laughs> no wonder. That was told me. No wonder what. No wonder Nathan is always hungry. Exactly. That's not true. Ijeniko is not in my tongue. It's in your own tongue. It's in your tongue. No, it's in your tongue. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Ah. My bad. What happened? I forgot to help you with your assignments. Ah, uh, don't worry, Dad. We've done it. Yes, Dad. You have? Yes, Dad. Oh. Ah, what a relief. Hmm. Dad. Thank you. Yes. Isn't the weight too much for you? What weight are you talking about? Playing the role of a father and a mother at the same time. Yes, Dad. Does mom even love us? She barely has time for us, unlike you. You're always busy with your work taking care of us. All the weight is on your head. I don't think mom cares about us. Nathan, don't say that. Okay? Your mommy loves you. It's just that the, the, the weight, the stress of her work is telling on her. Okay, she's a very big executive in her company. Hmm? She loves you. And I'm not complaining. Okay? Stop squeezing. Time for sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, lie down. One of you. Time to sleep. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night, dad. Good night. Sweet dreams. Nice. Dream of your daddy, my beautiful girl. I'm going to dream of myself. Okay, I know. Yes. No, you will dream of it, Jenica. No, no, no. I can't do that. Good night. Alison, we can't continue like this. I can't. Look, I can't continue to pretend that all is well. While indeed, things are getting worse by the day. I am bringing in a maid into this house. You know, that's not possible. There is no way. I'm letting you bring some other woman into a matrimonial home. And that's some period. Look, this is not debatable. <laughs> yes. Since you have failed in your responsibilities as a wife and mother in this house, watch me bring in another woman who will do your job for you. Richie, read my leads. That will be all for my then. Will I allow you bring one of your numerous girls into this home all in the name of housemaid? Then Try it! Prefer to die. Uh, okay, fine.
Come, my baby, come. Let me help you also. Mom, yes, Dad. I'm still wondering about this change. What changed? Come down, you're good. Like right, by now, you're supposed to be dressed for for work. You're supposed okay. to be going to work by now, but here you are helping us get dressed. Mm -hmm. That's because I am your mommy. Hmm? And I love you, Angel, so much. Of course, it's my responsibility to take care of my lovely children. You know, take you to school, bring you back from school, cook for you, feed you myself. Mm -hmm. Well, your daddy told me that he will be employing a maid to come help us in this house. Did he tell your children that? No, he didn't. Of course, I'm sure he will still tell your children. But here's what I want you to do for me. What's it, mom? When he brings the topic, tell him no, that you do not need a maid. That mommy is doing a nice job already. Now I see where all this niceness is coming from. And if dad asks for my consent to employ the services of a maid, I would gladly say a big yes. Also, I would say a very big, 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 big yes. Mom, if you're just, if you're too busy with work to take care of your own children, why not let a maid assist you on it? Yes, Mom. And also, don't worry about dropping us off at school. Dad will do that. Yes. Okay. Bye, Bye Mom. Mom. We love you. Love you. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. No wonder, they don't look like me, ugly children. Sorry, I was uh, I was trying to park the car. Yes. Okay. So when is the agency sending the maid over? Oh, Monday. That's fine. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, let's go inside. I'm famished. Famished. I'm, I'm very hungry. Yeah, I love. You're tired. I'm going to go inside. Oh, thank you. Let's go. I know inside. Okay. Mommy! Mommy! Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my angels. Mm. So how was today's school? Mm, today's school went well. Everything was fine. I'm glad. Ah, oh, honey, you're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Look at you. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, both of you go upstairs and freshen up while I like prepare something for you to eat. Okay, oh, Dad. No, no, no. That, that won't be necessary. Because I'm doing that already. I'm preparing something for them. Oh, Yay! Really? Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait. Yes. What? Nathan, do you perceive that? Yes! Does it what? Want food! <laughs> Wait, mom, Bunt I think food. you should go to the kitchen. Want? Uh, anyway, um, I'm not perceiving anything. Like I said, both of you should go upstairs while I prepare an unborn food for you, okay? Okay, you dad. On. Okay, no problem, dad. Yeah. Well, I don't now, know. What is all this? Must you put it that way? Why is it that you don't? 
seem to realize the fact that you need a housemaid in this house to help you. Oh, uh, you're looking for a way to bring in another woman in the clothing of house help just to take over my home, to come break my marriage for me. It won't work. I've already found someone and um, she'll be resuming on Monday. Oh no, that won't work. I will not allow some of the women come run my home for me. This is my marriage. I will run my home. I will fix everything well. I will not allow you bring some woman to come break my home. I repeat, I will not allow it. And I can see that you are doing a very good job of mm -hmm. your motherly responsibility. Mm -hmm. By performing burnt offering all the time in my house. I just hope that one day you will not burn down this edifice in the name of performing your duties. Right? But look, I don't know. Why don't you just succumb to the fact that you need a house made in this house? Why? You have failed as a mother. Really? You said that to my face? Stop it! Let me go and check the bond food and I will correct everything, I promise. Now what is all this? Are you going to check if the girls have accepted? Of course I will food. check it! I will check it! After all, Bible says that we will offer God's offering unto thy altar! Now what is all this? Who be that? Oh, good, good yeah, come, come um, my name is Tiffany. I'm from Blossom SMC. I, I was sent here for the position of a maid. The interview. Okay. Yeah. Just hold on here. Eh? Let me go and see Madame inside. Oh, okay, Just no hold problem. on, hold on, calm down. Hold on. Thank you. You must be the slave sent by the agency. Actually, ma'am, I'm the maid. My, my name is Tiffany. What? Who asked for your name? Who gave you the right to tell me your name, you miserable wretch? Is it not too early for you little witch to fly to my matrimonial home just to seduce the man of the house? Oh, glory, hallelujah. I'm glad my husband is not here. He's covered in the blood of Jesus. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you talking about? I was scheduled for the interview by 9 a.m. That's why I'm here to- Hey! You better keep quiet! What gave you the right to speak when I'm speaking? What gave you the audacity to stand before me to speak, you little imbecile? Now the next time, I will see something like you hovering around this vicinity. I promise, I'll bait you with raw acid from the crown of your poverty-stricken head to the miserable toads of your useless feet. You idiot. Smell out. Hello, agent. Good morning. Why are you talking like this? What happened? Oh, I am sorry. I am sorry. Uh, please, let me... Let me park. I'm actually driving. Let me park. Um, agent, I am sorry. I didn't know my wife did that. Why would she do such a thing? Hi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no way I would support such a thing. It's all right. Please, I need you to send her back, okay? Send her back. Forget about how much it will cost. Yes, send her back immediately. I'm going back now. Because my thinking was that I will just rush home to meet with the 9 o'clock appointment. I didn't know my wife pulled such a stunt. 
Yes, send her back. Thank you. Yes, sir. How dare you? How dare you threaten the maid that the agency sent here for employment? Oh, that? Yes, that. <laughs> Do you know the implication of what you've done? Do you know the negative impact it will have on that agency? I'm asking you. You are looking at me like someone who has done a great thing. Of course I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yes. I cannot allow that girl come to this house. Oh, <laughs> of course, that's to show they did not even tell you what I told that Nateweight. Otherwise, you would have been more furious than this. I told her bullshit. Of course, I would not allow her step her foot an inch close to this house. I would teach her a lesson she will not forget in a hurry. Of course, by the time the agency will see her, they will not even recognize her. And what do you think you're doing? Tell me. Try it. Dare me and do that that you have threatened. Then you will see the other side of me. And you will kiss this marriage. Goodbye. I beg your pardon. Are you threatening me because of a low life scumbag? Imagine. My baby, what is it? Look at me. What is the problem? You left this place this morning to the said interview. Now you are here crying. Tell me what actually is the problem. I need to know. Mama. Yes, my daughter. I went to the address given to me by the agency. Okay. But when I got there, I, I met this woman that she, she promised to pour me acid if I ever step my foot in there again. God forbid. My own daughter. Are you sure you didn't go to the wrong address? Because I am confused. How can someone who contacted an agent for the service of a maid now turn back to threaten that the same maid when she comes? It's not normal. Maybe, maybe, maybe you are wrong. You went to the I'm wrong place. I'm not wrong. I went to the right address. I'm just, I'm sure that the wife of the man is not, it's not in support of him bringing a maid to the house. Because she accused me of trying to seduce her husband. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Listen to me, my daughter. I know that maybe things are not really going smoothly for us in times of finance. We still have our pride and dignity to protect as a family. I love you. You are the only thing I have. You are the only reason I am living. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you, my daughter. Please. Oh, please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm tired. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mommy is here for you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mama. It's okay. What? You know, we still need extra source of income, right? Yes, I, need, I need to save up money to continue schooling. And with the little money you're making from your profession business, it's not going to help us. 
It's not going to help us at all. I know. I know. But my daughter, when one door closes, the ones will open. I have this belief in my mind that better things are yet to come. You sure? Okay. I'm your mother and I'll always be there. Thank you. Can you please find another house that needs a meet from me? I really need money now more than any other thing. Wants me back? So there's no way I'm going back to that house. The house where they promised to bait me with hot acid if I ever step my foot in there again. I, I can't go back there. Besides, it's not about the money. It's about my safety. Okay, let's say I agree to go back there. How about my mother? Do you think she will allow me to go back there? What is it? The house I went for, for the maid job. They no. want me back. No, go back to the house. It's not. No, there is no way. You know there is no way on earth, even in heaven, I will allow you to go back to that house. Let alone live under that same roof with that, with that descendant of Jezebel. Mama, but... No, we are not the only poor people in this place. You are not going anywhere. Mama, Mama please stop this. Aren't you tired of being scared of everything? Everything we're so afraid of always happens to us. Let's take example. Dad. When Dad had an accident, we were scared of losing him. But he died, didn't he? You were scared of losing your job at the hospital where you work. Because you couldn't get over the demise of your husband, my father. But they sacked you. Mama, I dropped out of school. We lost everything. The bank took everything from us because, because of the money Papa owed them before he died. And Mama, here we are, still being scared of everything. Are, we, are you not tired? Fine. Fine. What do you want to do? I'm going back to the house. Yes, I will face my fear and I will go back there. She can't even do anything to me. She's just threatening me. The house? Mama, that's the only choice we have. Do we have any other choice? Not that's how to kill you. Mama, why are you speaking of death? Nobody is going to kill me. Mama, everything will be fine. Please stop. Mama, stop now. I don't want anything Mama, stop. to to you. <laughs> stop you. Well, uh, for starters, I need to apologize to you on behalf of my wife uh, because of the way she treated you the other time. Okay? I'm sorry. No problem, sir. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, really? Yes, sir. It's fine. So tell me, what is your name? My name is Tiffany Daniel, sir. Tiffany? Hmm. <laughs> Tiffany. Very nice name. Ah, thank you, sir. So how are your parents? Um, actually, my my, my dad is late, but I stay with my mother. She's a trader. It's all right. Sorry for your father, okay? It's okay, sir. Um, 
were you told by the agency that uh, you'll be living with us in this house in the event that you are successful with the interview? Oh, yes, sir, they did. They told me. Good. It's all right. So you will start work by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Just like that? Just like that. By then, my children will be available um, so that you can acquaint yourself with them. Uh, you already met my wife. Yes, sir. Oh, God, thank you so much. God bless you. This means a whole lot to me and my family. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right. So, uh, what would you like to eat or drink? Uh, I'm fine, sir. I just want to go home and tell my mom the good news. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be going now. It's alright. Greet your mom for me, okay? Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, um, H. No, H. O. L. E. Um, this game interests me more when we are like three or four. Me too. Mom, hmm? come join us. I'll pass. I'm very busy, please, sir. What's there? What were you thinking? Inviting mom to fun things. All she cares about is her work. Work and more work. <clears throat> Dad! Hey. Don't come join us, play The work person. My angels. Yes, Dad. You want me to join you? Yes, Dad. You mean you want to watch me beat both of your hands down? You wish, Dad. <laughs> yeah, because my brain is a brain of a computer. Oh. Anyway, before we continue to play this game, yes, sir. I am happy to announce that I have recruited a housemaid that will help with the house chores and also help me in bringing you guys up. Whoa, wow! I can't wait to see her. Dreams! Yes, Dad, I can't wait to see her. You owe me a coconut. Oh? Huh? Yes, I can't wait to see her, Dad. Anyways, Dad, this was her name. Oh, uh, she's Tiffany. Tiffany, well, that's Tiffany. a nice name. Okay, uh, Dad, come, let's play. Uh, look, now I want you guys to just stay uh, and let me beat you <coughs> to pieces <coughs> so that you can see the stuff I am made of. <coughs> no problem, Dad. Give me. B -L -L -L. I'm a computer when it comes to this game. Uh, a, com have to wait. a computer. <laughs> Hey. What were you doing in my kitchen? Ma'am, I was I was interviewed last week by your husband. Fortunately for me, I got the job. So I was only, I was only cooking. Oh, fortunately for you. Point of correction. You are quite unfortunate. You cannot, I repeat, you will not stay in my house. Oh, just take a look at you. You resumed work today. And you have occupied my kitchen like the chief chef. A position that is supposed to be mine. And you think you can occupy it? Hello? I will deal with you mercilessly in this house. So you better tell my husband that you do not want this job. Else, you will go in for it. I mean every word. Get out. Get out! Rubbish. What's the meaning of this? So you had the audacity to bring in some of the women to our matrimonial home. As what? 
I'm asking you. You did not take my permission first, your wife. Why? Alison, that girl is a very little girl. Oh. And the earlier you stop seeing her as a competitor in this house, the better for you. I don't care if you call her a suckling baby or what. I am telling you that that thing will not live under the same roof with me. And that's it. Whatever you say, whatever you think, is your business. Really? Yes. That girl is a very small girl. You see, I didn't even bother introducing her to you. You notice that. Because you introduced yourself to her earlier in a very ugly and disgusting manner. Oh, Richmond, you should be ashamed of yourself. A husband bringing in some other woman. Oh, you think I do not know? One of your mistresses, you brought her in here. It will not work. I will not allow you to do that in this house, not in my home. She is leaving this minute. Sometimes I just wonder that. Uh, why can't you just stop for a minute and listen to yourself when you speak? This is a little girl. You're already giving her the credit of being a woman. As a matter of fact, you're mate in this house. Now you listen. That girl is here to stay. And that decision is final. And I'm saying it to your face. That over my dead body will I allow that girl to live under the same roof with me? Never. She is living right this minute. And I am telling you that that girl is going nowhere. Oh, really? Yes. Now watch me throw her out. Oh. I didn't recruit you as a cook. You don't have any business cooking in this house. Hmm? I recruited you to help with the house chores, particularly to help take care of these two kids. They're certainly not a chef. Sir, I'm not complaining. Cooking is my hobby. I just enjoy doing it. That's why. Well? Yes, Dad. Dad, her food was so delicious. Yes. Like, I loved the food. Mm -hmm. Like, the way I put it in my mouth, it was just, oh, just watch from my mouth. I love the food. She's a really good cook. Yes, her food was very delicious. Yeah. Certainly, she knows how to cook. As a matter of fact, she's a good cook just like me. Huh? Yes, Dad. <laughs> like yes. you. Uh -huh. Yes. That's not true. She's better than you. <laughs> Uh, Our food me. tastes good. Like when I want to taste the food, I want to taste it again. I want to taste it again. She's better than you in hundred folds. <coughs> She's a good chef. Oh my God, I love her food. Well, you're learning where she is. <laughs> really? She's better than you. Mm. Wait, you don't agree with me? I don't. That's not true. That's my angel, my daughter. I love you so much, okay? I love you too, but uh, Mr. Ejeniko, <laughs> look, it's just because you have an option now. The other time when you ate my food, you were licking your hands. Mm. <laughs> Daddy, you are the best cook in the whole wide world. Now, because you have an option, you are not saying I'm not as good as Wait, you. Dad. Wait. Mm -hmm. Dad, when mm -hmm. I ate your food, I was licking my hands. Mm -hmm. But when I ate her food, I was licking my hand, I was licking the plate, I was licking myself. Okay. Like the food was so delicious. Mm -hmm. It's better than you, Dad. It's all right. Yeah. I, I was doing something before you Okay, called. you can go. Thank you, sir. All right. This, this is delicious. Right? I need more. Look at you. I need more of your food. I for more. Don't worry. I love it. My daughter, you know I love you so much. <laughs> yeah, father. I love you too, but uh, you are food. Eh? Five and six. Yeah, I love food. <laughs> you can't say that again. <laughs> All right. Good night. Oh, where are you going to? Well, I have to make sure that all the bobs in the house are off then. Go to bed. Anything? Please, can you tell us a bedtime story? You know, 
Our dad always tells us a bedtime story before we go to sleep. Yes. So please, can you and play it? Also, I have this is called insomnia. And if you don't tell me a bedtime story or give me sleeping pills, I find it hard to sleep. Well, I also have that disease. But I don't need a bedtime story or a sleeping pill to go to bed. At least not every time. Oh, would you tell us a bedtime story, please? please. Would you please? All right, fine. Now. I'll okay. tell you a bedtime story. Yay! Okay, finally. So, are you ready? Yes, yes, I am. In the far, far away kingdom, there lived three princesses. Their father, the king, was a very wise king. So the heavens blessed him with three daughters that has magic powers wow yep now the first daughter has the power of seeing she sees what happens in the future just by looking at you and the second princess has the power of solving any case that happens mm -hmm. and the third princess has the strength of a man she helps fight crimes in the kingdom and chase bad, bad people away from there. So one day, the king, their father, died. Died? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And now the prime ministers are having difficulties in selecting a new leader. Do you know why? Why? Oh, because the three princesses yes. are useful. Yes, yep. they have very useful power. Yes, they have useful powers and they're all capable of being the leaders so they had to you know put them to a test guess what test what mm -hmm. you can't guess i can't um, guess i'm really good guess um, 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 um so the good evening mom good e good evening mom now get out so. But mom, she was telling us an interesting story. Yes, mom. That's the reason I came. I came to tell you, Lovelace, a good night story. But mom, your stories are usually boring, and I don't seem to learn anything from it. Mom, you have distracted us now. Yes. Don't worry, just come and continue, okay? Come on, continue. Please, Stop looking Sit at down. Like that. Oh, the story is very interesting. So, continue. So, huh? Oh, you want to open your mouth? Mm -hmm. no. Try it now. Mm -hmm. Continue. Don't worry. Don't mind my mommy. Continue, okay? Hush! Idiots. Continue now. Wow. Why would you do that? Just order one more word now. I will deal with three of you. Nonsense. Tiffany, sorry. Please, can you continue? Fine, I'm fine. Yes, I will continue. Okay. I, I'm crying. No? Please don't cry. I'm, sure. I'm not crying. I'm fine, my mom, okay? <laughs> Let's continue. Yes. Oh. So, they, they had to put them to a test. Mm -hmm. So, they were asked to find three mysterious germs. Wow. Mm -hmm. Germs. Yeah, whoever gets it first. Matilda, tell me, what would you like to drink? Okay, just get me. Chilled fruit juice. <laughs> See your mom. <laughs> Why not? I'll get it for you. <laughs> Tiffany! <clears throat> Tiffany! Tiff! Mom, I'm coming. Stay there. Today will be the last time I will call your miserable cursed name twice before you answer. Else I'll just hit your head on the wall and you'll collapse. 
I'm sorry, Mom. Now you go to the kitchen. Get my friend a fresh shoes. Just take a look at the way she looks. Very fresh. I do not want you to touch it. I do not want you to open it. So you will not use your contaminated hand to infect her. Now you get going. My dear, crazy girl. Is that the girl you told me your husband employed? Of course. That's the Lucifer. Hmm. My husband brought into my matrimony home to divide us, but I wouldn't let that work. Hmm. Would never. Honestly speaking, I do not trust that girl one bit. I don't trust her at all. Since you don't trust her, why entrust the safety of your children to her? I will keep frustrating her till she leaves my house. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Okay. I will keep doing it. I trust you. Huh? I'm still waiting, Tiffany! I'm coming. Yes, Mrs. Clara. Please, there's something important I would like you to do for me. On no account should anybody come to the school to pick up my children, apart from my husband and I. Yes, you heard me right, teacher. <clears throat> if you try it, listen, I don't threaten people, but I will do it gently to your happiness and to my own happiness. I will lock you up and throw the kids to the abbess. <laughs> Sounds like I'm joking, right? Of course, I know you would do it. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Sorry, I went to pick them up from school, but they, they, they said they didn't let me pick them up. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry, okay? It's fine. All right? Okay, thank you, sir. Good. Let's go. Uh, where is your mother? She's upstairs. Oh, okay. let's go. Hello, Hello, sweetheart, you're back already. How could you? How could I what? Why did you instruct the school to stop any other person from picking our children except you and I? Knowing full well that our jobs, our job schedules are unpredictable. Oh, so there's a reason you're angry. Oh. You mean this is not enough for me to get angry? Talking about that innocent girl, if she meant anything negative, any motive against her children, she would have done that a long time ago. Moreover, she was brought to us by a reputable agency. So, the earlier you see her as a good house help, a helping hand, the better for you. <laughs> you talk as if you know this girl too well. You don't even know her. Really? Of course. This girl might be a kidnapper. She might be a child defiler. Or even a witch. Huh. What are you talking about? I do not want that girl anywhere close to my children. Ah. Alison. Sometimes I wonder if you chew your words before you spew them out. Look, this is an innocent girl. And I will advise that you take her as such instead of this animosity you are displaying towards her. Hmm. That girl is not a mother schemer. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's how I see her. And a husband snatcher. I will not sit back, fold my arms in my house and watch some refrain. Come to snatch you away from me. Oh. It won't work. You are so pathetic. Yes. I mean, you are qualifying that innocent young girl with all these adjectives. Oh, you are disgusting. Really? Yes. Your wife is disgusting now. 
You now stand before me to praise that little girl calling her innocent. Of course, that's how you men start. Once you start praising a little girl, innocent girl, innocent girl, that means you're looking for a way to go into her panty panty and before you know it, boom! I will not allow that. Rubbish. Hey, hold it, young man. What do you mean? That my clothes will not be ready this morning? You're sorry. That's all you could say. You're sorry. Can sorry atone for this disappointment? Huh? Ha Look, young man. If I don't have my clothes by 8.30 this morning, I will lock you up. What the hell? Hmm? Now, who are you locking up, sweetheart? Is it not that stupid laundry man? Huh? He promised delivering my clothes by 8.30 this morning. Hmm. Now, he's telling me that he, he has problems with his washing machine and so he cannot deliver them. Mm-hmm. Is it not your fault? Huh? You cost it. Your problem is that you trust people so much. You made this laundry man realize that he's the only one you can use. Which is why whenever he's doing whatever he's doing, he feels, I mean, his excesses are pardonable. Suits so you right. Suits me right. Huh? My wife, you're telling me it suits me right when I have a presentation to make this morning. That's what you have to say. Now, if you're a good wife, we won't be having this conversation. You would have washed my clothes that I stack up in the bedroom. What? What is what? No. Wait a minute. Sweetheart, what you want me to do now is to go up, pick up your clothes and start washing them. You want me to ruin my nails? Is that what you want? What nails are you talking about? This ones? Mm-hmm. Huh. You are simply impossible. Ah. Are you not going to use washing machine even if you refer to those nails as something really important? Let me breathe, please. Hi. This... This presentation is very important. What do I do now? How do you take your old clothes? Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Tiffany. Sir, I I washed some of your clothes and ironed them. They're still in the laundry room. I was meaning to come and give it to you when I'm done washing the dishes. Wait. You mean you wash my clothes? Yes, sir. Including my office wares? Yes, sir. Ah! Ah! Mm! Sorry. Ah! Mm. Tiffany. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You are God sent. <laughs> Hi. You, you, you don't know what you've just done. Thank you very much. You are God sent. Mm. Eh? You've just saved a disastrous situation. Please, just take those clothes to my room already, okay? Let me go and prepare for work. Okay, sir. Can you imagine? Just look at him, getting all excited. He almost hugged her. <laughs> you would have done that. We're in here, eh? Piawagi, see? Nonsense. And look at that one. You should be ashamed of yourself. Who answers Tiffany? Your original name is Thief. You have come to my house to thief my husband, but I will not let that happen. Try it now. Ugly girl. Sorry, you called me. Yes, I did. Savior of the day. Savior of the day. I, I don't I don't understand what you mean by that, sir. 
<laughs> then guess. Sir, there's one thing I'm not good at, is guessing why somebody would be happy. But if it's sadness, I can guess it. Because sadness is where I've been all my life. And I know how it looks on someone. Come on, Tiffany. This is a happy moment. I mean, why are you carrying your face like that? Huh? Come on. All right. Um, you remember the multi-million naira um, contract I told you about this morning that I was going to make presentation for? Yes, I do. I remember. Good. Guess what? I want it. <laughs> I want the contract. Oh my God! Yes. This is this is good news. Yes. That oh, congratulations. Happy. Oh, congratulations. Good news. Thank you. Now, guess what? I didn't win it because my presentation was awesome. I won it because of the perfume I wore. But oh. the confusion is that uh, I can't remember wearing the perfume before I left the house because I left in a hurry. That, that must be from the detergent I used to wash it. Oh, oh that is it. The detergent. Wow. <laughs> so, I wonder the kind of uh, detergent that was, uh, that has that kind of fragrance. Uh, but tell me, how did you get the money to buy that kind of detergent? It's the balance from the full stuff money you gave me last time. Oh, you see? You see how wonderful you are. Thank eh? you, sir. Hmm? Some other person would have uh, pocketed the money, but you used it for the house. Hmm? Thank you. It's nothing, sir. Now, in appreciation of that, I bought you something. Something's here. Let's see. Boom. Now, this is your phone. Okay? Inside there is a registered SIM, and my number is saved in it already. Oh. Yes. So that I can communicate with you from the office, and also find out about the well-being of my children. Thank hmm? you, God bless you, sir. Thank you. It's all right. On top of that, um, henceforth, I don't want you to be wearing this. Be dressing like a domestic staff. So. I bought you this clothes so that you can dress like any other member of the house. Oh, thank you, God bless you. Thank you. It's all right. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, in the event that uh, you are having difficulty in operating that phone, hmm? call on Nathan. He's a genius when it comes to things like this. No problem, sir. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I was doing something in the kitchen before you call. Mama. Hello? Who is this? Uh, Mama, it's me, Tiffany. Ah, my daughter? Who got you a phone? Mama, it's my employer. He got me the phone and some really a nice, expensive clothes too. As an appreciation for my hard work. Mama, do you know that this man is a very good man? That is really nice of him. But what do you need clothes for? when you are only allowed to wear the outfit of a maid. He actually said that from now henceforth I should be dressing normally. That I should just dress normal. And he also considers me as a member of the family. That is good of him, but don't be too carried away by his kind gestures. Always remember why you are there and where you are coming from. Yes, Mama, I will. Okay, Mama, I have to go now. 
May the heavens watch over you, my daughter. Okay, Mama. Bye bye. I found the word. So, oh, mini me. Um, okay, I found another word. And, um, no, not possible. Um, hi, see. Oh, hi. You look so beautiful. Yes. Oh, I almost didn't recognize you. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, my uh, my dad has eyes for good things. <laughs> thank you. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're oh, playing, playing a word game. Oh, nice. Yeah, come and join us. Yes, you should. I I don't know how to play the game. Um, you just have to form a word with the letters. That's all. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think we so, have. Send. There's another. Yeah. Okay. Just say Allah. Oh. Pick seven alphabet. Seven. Yes. Okay. I found another word. Okay. No. Mm. Words. Mm -hmm. mm. Two. Oh my god, that was so cool though. Let me help you. I don't found worry. A I word. got this. What did you do? I found a word. So Really? Oh. What you're beating me? I'm so trying to work. Oh. So um. Ooh. <sighs> now move it. Come on, move it. It, it, it's your it's your husband that got it for me. Oh. Really? Go on, I'm listening. He said I shouldn't be wearing the maid's outfit anymore, so, so he got he got this one for me. For real? So my husband got you this, where he can easily assess your panty panties. Is that it? No, ma. Oh, has his own strategy of manipulatively bringing you to become a member of my family. Mom. I said no to that. I reject it, I refuse it, and I denounce it. Now, will you go in there? Pick every little thing that he bought for you. But the panty panties, the brads, the handkerchief he gave you to be put in an escrow. Now, get going. One, two, three, move it! Nothing. Something fell in my eyes. I was not crying. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. See? What is the problem? Nothing, sir. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> no, nothing, sir. I'm fine. Both of you go upstairs. Okay, done. Okay. Are you sure you're fine? Problem. Why are you crying? You said there's no problem. 
But look at tears on your face. What's the problem? By the way, why are you still wearing this? Why have you not changed into the one of the new clothes I bought for you? Madam, Madam, Madam bought everything. She bought the clothes you got for me. She did what? Sir, please. I am just the maid. It's only professional that I dress as such. I am not complaining. And she's right. You shouldn't have gotten those clothes you got for me. I'm fine. I don't want to be the, the problem for you and your wife. I don't want to be the reason you both will be having misunderstanding. So please, sir, let me just dress like this. I'm comfortable in this. I beg you. Where is she? She's upstairs. Sir. Sir. Alison, why are you this inconsiderate and evil in your ways? Huh? Why did you burn the clothes that I bought for that poor maid? Now you called me evil because of a poor maid. I'm glad you called her a poor maid. That's what she is. So why are you trying so hard to make her a member of this family? You even bought her clothes. Bought her good new clothes. When last did you buy me a cloth? I'm asking, when last did you buy me a cloth? Alison, the last time I checked, you are an executive. A big one for that matter. So? In a big company. Hmm? And you have enough money to take care of yourself. Aside that, I still give you your allowances. Now, why? Why did you decide to treat the poor girl like that? The clothes I bought for her in appreciation of what she did that enabled me to win that multi-million Naira contract. You bought them. Why? I just wanted her to have a sense of belonging in this house. Sense of belonging indeed. Oh, you even told her about your multi-million Naira deal? Without even telling your wife first? Or even celebrating with your family? Come on, man. How wicked can you be? Oh, you went even as far as getting her new clothes. New lovely clothes for a pig! Of course, she is a pig. No matter how you try to be a pig, a pig will always be a pig. And that's the reason I showed her where she belonged. Alison, you call yourself a Christian. Hmm. Do you know God at all? You call a human being created by God a pig? Now you listen, and listen really good. For every single cobble that I spent in buying those clothes, you are going to pay with interest. Oh God, forget that thing. You cannot threaten me. Now my husband, where you be? What's all this? We shall see. We shall see nothing. Let me check if I can even see something reasonable in your bag. You will keep every penny in your car. You will come here to threaten me and you think I'll fall for it. My friend, remove Sit this. Down. Thing from me. Hey, I should remove what? Can't you remove it yourself? Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. I'm fine. Why do I find it hard to believe? Hard, hard to believe what? My daughter. Throughout last night, I didn't sleep a wink. I am having this strong premonition that your happiness is not in a good place. 
Ma, how can you say a thing like that? Because I'm your mother. I feel your joy and your sadness. Mama, I'm fine. I'm really fine. It's just you, you got the wrong idea this time. Remember the last time when I called you and I told you they got me phone and they got me really expensive dresses? Have you forgotten? Mama, this family really loves me. It's just that you miss me and that's all. I just hope so. Yeah, yes, Mama. How are you? I am fine. That's nice to hear. My dear, I have never seen my husband in such a rage before. Believe me, had it been he was a woman beater, he would have killed me that yesterday, I swear. Wait, wait, wait. All this energy just for a common maid? I'm telling you! An ordinary poverty streaking maid. With what you are telling me, I'm fully convinced that your husband is having an affair with that girl. Exactly. You have said it all. I'm sure he bought those clothes for her. Mm -hmm. So that she can look sexy and appealing for Does him. It? You see that my husband, maybe I will cut off those two balls in between his two legs. That's what I will do. Nonsense. And what's that? Haven't you seen your Auntie Matilda? Come on, will you greet her? Please, what do you gain in trying to cause problems in someone else's home? What? Have you lost your mind? I didn't raise you this way. Why would you talk to her in such manner? She doesn't deserve my respect. Why would she be advising you wrongly? The only person fit to advise you right now is a married woman. What? You? I want to know what I can do to you. Alice, you want to know what I can do to you? Enough of this embarrassment. No, Matilda. No, no, no. I can't take it any longer. Please. She's just a baby. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I can't take it. I'm leaving. You're Please. my best friend. Mm -mm. Please don't be angry. This is getting out She's of a hand. little girl. Oh. She's a little girl. <laughs> Ashley! Look at that ugly girl. Ashley! Don't you think you are too harsh on me? Mom's action, her actions annoys me. She barely have time for us. The person that dad employed to take care of us, she's trying to make us hate the person. And that's not fair. That's true. But my own annoyance is that we didn't get to what the end of today's episode. Me too. Just tired. Tiffany, congratulations. Tiffany. Congratulations on your successful completion of been working with us for one full month. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. It's it's really an honor working for your family. All of you, everybody made it easy for me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Look, you don't need to thank me. We received you as a member of the family. As a matter of fact, I see you as my daughter. Okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, I just have this. Take it. Sir. So, my salary. Mm -hmm. But this is this is more than we agreed on. I know. Look, you've overworked yourself for the past one month. 
you, you deserve more than this. Uh, moreover, you, your mother needs some something, you know, for her upkeep. So, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. 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 Stand up. Thank you, sir. It's okay. okay. Um, Tiffany, please, when you get home, quit your mom for me, and also tell her that she gave it to a very beautiful and hard-working child. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Please. I don't want you to go and miss you. But she has to go and visit her mom. Come on, Nathan. She has to go. I mean, she's been working here for the past one month. And moreover, it's high time she saw her mother. Okay? So, go and see your mother, huh? Okay. And I suck will allow some breast. But only for one day. I curse my heart. Pinky just promise. One Pinky promise. Just one day. Yes, just one day. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm hungry. Uh -uh. Hungry. Yeah, my tummy is making a funny noise. Um, Nathan. You just. Ate. Did you swallow Ijeniko? I want Ijeniko. Oh, I will tell you the story of Ijeniko someday. Okay. Huh? Okay. Let me just quickly go and get something for you to eat, and then arrange like a sago. I just one day. It's one day. Okay. Thank you. Chop, chop. Very chop, hungry. chop, chop, chop. My tummy is making. Mm -hmm. Oh, my baby girl, you are looking more beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you are looking more, more, more beautiful oh, than me. forget about that one. Forget about it. You know, it has not been easy for me since you left me. So, managing without is not easy. Mama. But I'm fine. Mama, it's all for the best. You know it. But well, you're shining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Man, living without you is not easy, you know. Yeah. Even you to living without you is not easy. But I'm fine. Mm. At least you're looking more beautiful. And Mama, there's something I want to show you. What? A busy soup. Hmm? Pick. Where did he where did he get this money from? Mama, don't be like that. My employer paid me my monthly salary. And you also added extra for your upkeep. Serious? Mm hmm so this is for me. Yes, Mama. Wow! <laughs> I, I know you are a blessing to my life. Uh. Ah. Hey. Mm. So will you, you just manage this one to pay me my next salary? You mean this is for me? Mm -hmm. This is for me? Yes, Mama. <laughs> my jewel. <laughs> Thank you. This one. Oh, I missed you so much. Miss you too. Yeah. You're not going back today, right? I'm not going back today. Tomorrow morning. Uh, Mama, okay. I'm hungry. You hungry in your father's house? Mm. It's not done anyway. <laughs> I have a goosey soup. Let me and carry it. Let me uh, carry it. Okay. I cooked a goosey soup and pounded yam. My favorite. Just for you. Let's go. I see that's move for. Look at my baby girl. <laughs> Richmond? And what is it? You haven't refused me before. So what changed? Uh -huh. Have you been sleeping with your... Uh -huh. Just tell me you've been sleeping with her. Sleeping with who? Tiffany, of course. Your low life scumbag maid. Look, Alice, why can't you be sensible for once? That, that, that little girl, sleep with who now? Oh, so if she was grown, you would have been cheating. Hmm? 
Is that it? I will say, please, just, just leave me alone. Let me be, okay? And if I say no? And for your information, mm. I have bought her some new clothes. If you like, bond them again. Then you will see the other side of me. You won't do anything. Forget it, you will not do anything. You will not. I will elbow you. Elbow I will elbow you. Go, Joe. You, like you. you like to threaten me. <laughs> I will elbow you. You won't do anything. Come here, it's month. You know you're troublesome. Why are you always threatening me because of that date he made? Why? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You should be ashamed of yourself first. I can be competing with that little girl. Because of the way you're doing. Your eyes. The way you look at her. Anya Degima. Me. Moi. Lie down, please. Children who has a father, or even a father figure, doesn't know the extent of which they are blessed by the heavens. Children without father rely on their mother for everything, including things that are meant for the father to provide. I see a father figure in you, and for transforming my life and the life of my mother the way you've done. May God continue to bless you, enrich you with more wealth and good life. And may your pockets never run dry. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Nothing. I, I was cleaning. I, I didn't mean for it to fall down. Oh! You have been lusting after my husband. No. No, it's not true. I, I would never do that. You have been staring at his picture to the extent you did not even observe when I walked in. No. You were fantasizing and sleeping with my husband. Is that it? No, no, it's is not true. Is that it? it? No, it's, it's... I was just... Now tell me what is it. I'm asking you to tell me what to say. Now, you want to, you want to sleep with my husband, I will never allow you. Now, what is all this? You think I'm a fool? You are stupid, you think you can rape why you did not sow in this house? You came into my house to steal my husband? Rubbish! You little thief. Rubbish. I'm talking to you, you better clean this place up! Thief! Tiffany! Tiffany!
your head on the wall and died. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. No, no, no. I didn't mean it. Don't tell me to come down, my friend. I just kill somebody. Tell me what to do. Tell me. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Strange. Tiffany didn't come to pick us up from school today. Well, um, I'm sure she's busy. Well, thanks to your class teacher who called to tell me that uh, no one has come to pick you up. Oh, but where's Tiffany now? Oh. That gives me an idea. I'm coming. Tiffany! Tiffany! Is she there? I no. have to go back to the no. office. Oh, oh, that is no oh, sweetheart. Welcome to school. No, 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 no. no, no. Yes, sorry, we come home. Uh, where is Tiffany? Dead. No, no, huh? home. No, gone. Hold on. Now, uh, you mean the cook? Maid? Are you okay? You won't believe it. I sent this imbecile on an errand years back. Yes. And up until now, she's not back. Yes, back. Yes, 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 yes. No, what I'm trying to say that this girl has numerous men in her life. Each time we send her on an errand, she has one person or the other to go sleep with. Look, Alison. Yes. The kind of description you are giving to this girl, I know, it cannot be true. I mean, whenever Tiffany is sent on an errand, she does not delay. Yes, yes she no, does. Yes. Mom, what that's a lie from the pit of hell, Mom. The person you just described, it doesn't sound like Tiffany. It certainly isn't Tiffany, yes, Mom. Yes, What is that supposed to mean? You it's mean I'm lying? Uh, it's all right, uh, Both of you, go upstairs. Yes, oh, go.
Alice. Yes. I don't trust you one bit. I beg your pardon? Are you all right? Perfect, good. Um, should I get you something to eat? Anything? Mom is hiding something. Yes, I think so too. Considering her actions a few minutes ago, I knew she was hiding something, but I can't just seem to lay my hands on anything. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What is it? Tell me. Let it not be that Mom sent Tiffany away, and then she's lying that she sent her on an errand and she didn't come back. That's true. I hope not. Look at me. Let's just be hopeful that Tiffany comes back, okay? What is all this? Don't scare me like that again. I thought you were sleeping. That does not answer my question. The question is, where are you coming from? And by the way, where were you sneaking into your bedroom? Like a thief. Like a thief. Hell no. You were the one who scared me as if you were a ghost. What? And why are these questions? Why? Is this some sort of interrogation or what? Where are you coming from? All right, I went to the kitchen to get myself a glass of water. Why? Lie. I searched everywhere, including the children's room. You were nowhere to be found. Where are you coming from, Alison? Okay, fine. It's Matilda. She had an emergency, so she called me. I hurriedly went to her house. I picked her up from her house to the hospital as she was running temperature. She's still there, yeah? Which is easier to say? Rise and walk, or your sins are forgiven you. Do you have to lie? By the way, I... I have not set my eyes on Tiffany for a very long time now. What stopped me from calling the agency or reporting to the police is that it's less than 48 hours, which is the statutory requirement to report a missing person by law. 
And my mind also tells me that uh, she's probably in her family house. Yes, but mind you, Alice, my eyes are on you. What's the meaning of that? Which one is this eyes on you? Excuse you, please. I need to go and change. Agent, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday, but all to no avail. I can understand. Uh, something happened and uh, I needed to reach you. Uh, this maid that you gave to us uh, from that agency, Tefani, I have not seen her since yesterday and I've been worried. I actually wanted to report to the police, but uh, I felt I should uh, put you in the know first before I do that. Do you happen to know her whereabouts or have you heard from her? But why? This is a girl I accepted as a family member. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I took her as my own daughter. If she has to do something like that, I, as a minimum, she would have uh, pre-informed me. Hi. Uh, it's all right. Can you please send me the, the address of the uh, family house so that I can reach her and at least find out why she made such a decision? No, uh, I'll pass. Thank you anyway. Thanks. in my eyes, Lord in my eyes, tell me where and when will I find love, oh, he's crying, you treat me with hate, wish that I'm late, there's no deeper words that Sounds can like explain, voice. what have you gained, oh, oh, I'm by this time. scary love away, oh no, someday it will rain, oh, no Look place to world. run to. No Just place see the way he's sleeping like a log of oh, no. What does it take to love your own? What does it take? What does it take to care for your own? What does it take? What does it take to love your own? What does it take? What does it take to care for your own?
Good day, ma. Good day. Did you have come to find out the person that brought my children to school this morning? Tiffany did, ma. What? Yes, ma. Which? Tiffany are you talking about? The same girl your husband told me was a family aide. And I should allow her to pick the kids anytime she comes. <laughs> You even look mad. I'm sure every one of you in this school are mad. Now you listen to me. Whether family aid, office aid, I do not want any human but of a woman coming to bring my children to school or taking them back from school. Apart from my husband and I. Are we on the same page? Yes, ma'am. You know what? Because I won't have the time to come repeat myself again. yourself I think it's all it's all in my head I think it's imagination everything is in my head I'm just imagining things uh, Alicia what you thought, is the problem you just startled me what is all this I thought you've come to walk I have but I forgot another fire You've been acting weird lately. Are you sure you are all right? Weird lately? Are you sure you're all right? I think I'm right. I'm all right. It's just stress from, from the office and that's it. Stress. So what is it with these uh, antidepressant pills that you're taking? I said I'm fine. Mind your business. What is wrong with you? 
with you. Alison. Uh, people think you're mad. I'm going insane. She don't know it. Yes. It's very hard. Wait. Nata. Yeah. How long are you? How long are you going to let Donald, your classmate, to keep bullying you? I mean, you're way stronger than he is. Are you just scared of getting into trouble? Wait. How do you know that? Well, your teacher told me. Why don't you put him in his place one of these days? If you do, he'll stop bothering you. What do you think? Okay, no problem. Don't worry, next time when he tries to bother me or bully me, I'm going to give him a punch in his face. Okay? That's nice. So, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. See this one? Mm -hmm. You add this one with this. Then divide it by this gives you an answer. Really? Yes. Wow, you're so smart. Thank you. Go on. You can do your assignment on your own, right? Yes, I can. I want to go and do something in the compound. Okay. Mm. Oh, Mom! Good evening. Good evening, Good evening sweetheart. Let me help you with your assignment. No need, Mom. Um, oh, Tiffany okay. already showed me how to do it. Okay. What? Tiff food? No, no, no. It's like everyone has gone mad in this house. Are you people losing it or what? There is nobody such as Tiffany in this house. Mom, Tiffany was here a few minutes ago. Yeah, she just went outside to do some chores. Alice? Alice? No, no, no. Um, you know, devil just wants a way, you know, to use this against you, to put it on your head, like, mm, mom, you know, Alice, that's it. Mom. Yes. What are you saying? Why are you behaving strange? It's a nightmare. A nightmare, you know. And soon I will get up from this nightmare. I think it's enough. Yes. Enough, enough of the nightmare. I think I will, I'll just wake up for a minute. Yes. Okay, now. So, I hope my mom's going to be fine. Right now. Easy, she'll be fine. She's just stressed out, okay? Uh, doctor, what exactly is wrong with my wife? I just discovered that uh, she's on antidepressant pills. Well, sir, I strongly believe it's stress, okay? You know, she overworked the brain. And you know the brain is a very, very, very important part of the body. And uh, she worked it to its elastic limit. That's why it seems as if she's having some mental disorder. But she'll be fine. With enough rest, she'll be fine, sir. Fine, sir. It's all right. Uh, thank you, doctor. Let me see you both. Both of you. <coughs> Make sure you don't disturb her. Huh? She needs to rest, okay? Let's go. Right. I just, I just, mom, 
gets well soon. I pray she gets well also. And when she gets well, I will make sure she doesn't overwork herself again. Mommy, please wake up. Please. As soon as you slumped, uh, he came and gave you a sedative injection. Okay? He said you'll be fine. Please just lie down and relax. Don't okay? go out. I, I will not. Okay? No, 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 I don't want to relax. I don't. I don't want to. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. really urgent on the phone. What is it? I saw her. In fact, I keep seeing her all the time, everywhere. I'm telling you. I mean, I keep seeing her over and over and over, everywhere in this house. I've seen her more than three times. I, I, I don't understand. Who are you? Who have you been seeing? Tiffany, my maid. No. I don't understand. The same person you killed and disposed of her body. No, Calm down, reduce your voice. Yes. That's impossible. It's your conscience playing the fast one on you. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. It's I keep seeing this person over and over and over and over again. I mean... <sighs> it's okay. Gosh. Put yourself together. The MD have started complaining about your recent incompetence. Please. For you? Yeah. I brought your face. <laughs> Who did you say you saw? Confess, she was standing there. She was standing there with a glass of juice trying to save us. Okay, so <laughs> where is she and the glass of juice? Who? What? Who, who exactly are you seeing? Who is that? Anna. Who? You said you were seeing somebody. No, no. No, I think... Uh, no, no, no. I think it's my mind. I think my head is full. I need to go and sleep. Wait. I think you have fever. Very strong malaria. You want me to back? You? Just stay informed. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done, please. Mm -hmm. I have no more. Oh, come, come and join us. Yes, come and join us. Come? Okay. Mm -hmm. Open letters.
With tears in my eyes, Lord in my eyes, tell me where and when will I find love? You treat me with hate, wish that I'm late. There's no deeper words that can explain it. What have you gained? Treating me so bad, scaring love away. Oh no. What? Someday it will rain. Death. No place to run. No place to hide. This one is very expensive. Oh no. What does it take to love you wrong? What does it take? What does it take to care for your own? What does it take? What does it take to love your own? What does it take? What does it take to care for your own? Wait, what is this? I come with so much love, living with what a sort of heart, hoping that this? by your side, please, darkness. Stop. My life has been so sad, feeling so words. much pain, living endlessly as the day goes by. What have you gained? Treated me so bad, scary love away. Oh no, someday it will rain. No place to run to, no place to hide. Mother, I'm not, I'm not saying you guys can take it. I'm saying no. Excuse. No more to care. What does it take to care for your own? What does it take? Have you lost interest in friends? Tip me. You've been acting really strange. What exactly is the problem? You know you can confide in us as family. Tiffany. Tiffany. Why is your hand so cold? Tiffany. You're going dressed like this, like a, like a mad woman. Mad you're, woman. Hey, you are putting on my palm. Mhm. Mm There's nothing wrong with my dressing. I look very hot and sexy. So where, where are you going exactly I'm, like this? Listen, I want you to drop me off to the office before going to your own office, please. So that. Hmm? You're going to the office dressed like this? Mm -hmm. Ah, come on. It will not happen. Why? Uh, the beauty is too much. Oh. Okay. See, so that. Let us go upstairs so that you can change to something no, more no, no. decent for the no, office. No, 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 work. no, no, no. No, please. I'll be late for my presentation. Please. No, they see time. Don't worry. Do not take time. Let's go. Okay? All right? But there is nothing wrong with my dress and... Oh, what is wrong with this dress? No, you, you're wearing my palm. The palm is fine. It goes with the gown. I know, but look, come. Let's just get I will be there for the presentation. Yeah, I know. Please.
Uh, yes, Tiffany. Tiffany, why didn't you serve food for yourself and join us here to eat? Mm -hmm. I'm not hungry, that's why. Oh. Come on, Tiffany. I've told you time and again that you are not a member of this family. Okay? And as family, we are supposed to eat together on the same table. Huh? Sincerely, I'm, I'm not hungry. I eat while cooking the food, so I'm filled. It's all right. Uh, Nathan? Yes, Dad. I thought I asked you to call your mom so that uh, she can join us here for lunch. Oh, that I did. Actually, but she said she's coming. Oh. Yeah. She's coming. It's all right. You can leave. You can go. Food is served already. Here is too small. No, here is too small. I won't be comfortable eating on on the small dining. So, where are you going with the food? To the compound. gone mad because it's only a mad person who can do that she now prefers eating on the ground than eating on plates like I don't understand what's going on I think there's more to this what do you mean by that stress or exhaustion can't affect someone's mental health to this extent. I've never heard of that. I think there's more to this. I think mom involved herself in something we don't know about. All I pray is that God should heal my mom. I, I don't want her behaving like that.
だシュラーズ What is the problem? Why, why are you looking like this? I just got a call from my boss now. Telling me that I'm fired. What? Why would he do that? He's saying he's firing me because I'm incompetent and unstable to do my job. He forgot that I've put in so much in this your company. On my late night hard work and everything. Everything is going wrong in my family today just because of this company. My effort in this company. And in the end, nothing. He just called me that I'm fired. It's alright. Come here. Don't worry, okay? Uh, a company that fires you uh, because of your instability, which I've been was caused by the same company, does not deserve you, okay? Um, I'm very sure, very positive that you will find another job in a company that will appreciate your efforts. So don't worry, okay? Everything will be fine. Hmm? It's alright. It's okay. Hey! My daughter, you scared me. I was on my way to your employee's house. I don't like the feelings I'm having about you. Okay, I tried calling your number, but it, it continues saying it's switched off. I was just on my way to, to shake on you, to know whether if you're still okay, because I don't like the way I'm feeling. I hope you're fine. I'm fine, Mama, as you can see. Thanks be to the Almighty God. How are you? It's not easy for me. Business is no longer booming fine. Plus, it has been a long time you brought money to the house. It's like they haven't paid you, but it's almost a month and a half. What is going on? My aim of working in that house is not to be paid. You said? The area of my job in that house changed for personal reasons. changed for personal reasons? I don't understand. You're getting me confused. Mama, one thing you should know is not only dad is watching you from up there. There are many eyes watching you too. And they will make sure you never lack or go hungry. My daughter, you are sounding strange. I hope all is well. Everything will make more sense later. Hope you're okay, Mama. I'm fine. Come here. Matilda, honestly speaking, I am tired. I'm frustrated. I keep hearing this peasant's voice everywhere. I keep hearing a voice crying. Cannot even concentrate anymore. I can drink water and drop cup. Cannot even eat in peace. I keep hearing a cry. What do I do? For real. Come on, you should have told me this sense. Matilda, 
I'm coming right away. Just hang in there. You will see me in a jiffy. My daughter. You are sitting beside me. But I can feel your distance from me. What is going on? You are just acting strange. What is happening? I have to go. Go oh where? Okay, fine. Fine, we will go. But at least eat something. I cooked something at home. There was a time those things fancied me. But now, no amount of food I eat can satisfy the hunger and taste deep within me. You don't have this man. You're acting strange. Mama, I will miss you. But I have to go. Go to where? What is wrong with you? Take care of yourself. Bye, Mama. Bye to where? Come back here. Come back. With tears in my eyes, load in my eyes, tell me where and when will I find love? Where are you going you to come back here? Come back! Wish that I'm late, there's no deeper words that can explain it. What have you gained? Treating me so bad, scaring love away. Oh no, someday it will rain. No place to run to, no place to hide. Oh no. What does it take to love your own? Tiffany, now you listen to me, your little stubborn spirit. Enough, enough of you disturbing my spirit, soul, and body. You will not allow me to rest in my house for what? I've got in a mirror that will cage you for life. I'm going to call for your spirit to come through this mirror for me to chain you so that you will not have power over my life again in my house. You will no longer appear. I call for your spirit right now. Tiffany. 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 He called me. Ah! I'm just gonna go! I'm just gonna go! No! Rufus, how are you? I'm fine, doctor. Good morning. Morning. How is she? I think she's getting better. You can check by yourself. Okay, I'll do it. I'm coming. Well, I'm afraid our condition is getting worse, sir. You know, her mental health has depreciated below 5%. 5%? 5%? Wait, doctor, do you mean my mother has gone mad? No, 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 no. I didn't say that. You know, there are several kinds of mental sicknesses. Okay? Well, sir, I would advise we take her to a psychiatric hospital. If we observe her for a while, and if she doesn't get better, that would be the only option, sir. So, it has gotten to the point that we consider taking my mom to a psychiatric hospital. This means it has gotten out of hand. No, no, no. You know what? Let, let us just be hopeful. There is nothing God cannot do. Okay? She will come around. She will be okay but she just needs time, okay? 
And please, nobody should disturb her because what I gave to her will make her sleep for a very long time. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, doctor. I'll be on my way. Tiffany, Tiffany, please, please, I beg you, leave me and go away. You're dead. You're buried. Even though you're not buried, but you're gone, forgotten. Please, just let me be, please. You forced the air out of my lungs. You forcefully took me away from my loved ones. You've been running and hiding. All along. Where am I? I hope I'm dead. I don't want to die with you. I possess the doctor. I made him inject you with overdose of sedatives. So you wouldn't wake up from this nightmare anytime soon. There is no running or hiding for you. Please. Anymore. Tiffany, please don't kill me. Please, I'm begging. Ah! Fire! No! Tiffany, fire, fire! Fire! Please, please, please! Dad. Mama has been sleeping like this for the past one and a half day. Isn't she going to wake up? Exactly. Dad, I don't think this is normal. Even when we try to wake my mom, she doesn't wake up. Yes. Well, at this point, I don't know what to do anymore. I've put a call across to Dr. Lucas. And he said he's on his way here. So we just have to wait. Hmm. What is it? What? No, 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 no. Fire! 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 What, what, what fire are you talking about? Fire, wait. It's okay, let's, let's allow her to rest. What's wrong with her? Why did you take ice cream from Mary yesterday? I don't understand what you're saying. How did you know? Don't you know you're not meant to take things from strangers or eat outside? She's not a stranger. She's my friend. Doesn't make any difference, Ashley. How did you even know? I felt it. Felt? This is very weird. Please don't tell my mom and dad, please. Where is Tiffany? Um, she went into the kitchen. She's not there. 
Oh, Dad, I saw her going into the kitchen not quite long. Yes. Something abnormal is happening in this house. Okay, both of you, go upstairs and look for her. Let me go outside and check around the compound. Dad, I hope everything is fine. My friend, go and do what I told you and stop asking questions. Tiffany, just kill me. Kill me, please. Just kill me. Killing you is freeing you from internal torture. Killing you is gain to you. But unrest for me. I never asked for a good life from your family. But they decided to shower me with love. And you? You hated me for no reason. You forcefully dragged me out of the bosom of my poor mother. Now, her garden of sorrow is constantly watered by your irrational decision. Tiffany, please, please. I know there is nothing that I will say or do that can atone for what I did. I'm sorry, but I'm begging you, please, just permit me to do the right thing. No matter how little, let me correct the mistakes I've made, please. If I'm not worthy of death or any other thing, just please allow me to do With right tears thing. in my eyes, Lord in my eyes, tell me where and when will I find love? You treat me with hate, wish that I'm late. There's no deeper words that can explain it. Have you gained love? Treating me so bad, scaring love away. Oh no! 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 Ah, ah. Mom! What is it? Mom, Mom what's happening? Mm, mm. I hope you're fine. Mom, why are you screaming? Say Mom. something. What is it? Time for me to talk. To talk about talk what? About, I will talk. Huh? What do you want to talk about? I will talk. Your daughter was implored to our house as a maid. I hated her without reason. The hatred for her heightened when my husband showered her with so much love and affection. You're a woman, you know what I'm talking about, right? I saw her as a threat and I became so angry. I killed her. No. No, you didn't, you didn't kill want. my daughter. You killed your own daughter. Uh, you did. Uh, please slow down. Now you, you are confusing me. You killed her. She killed her own daughter. Mm. I don't understand. Yes, I will tell you. <laughs> I was married for years without an issue. It was not easy for me. Hmm. 
it was not easy at all. The marriage was something next. I hope we not lose babies. No. One day, on my way to work, I saw a baby wrapped, placed on a basket. I couldn't take it. I couldn't stand it because I needed the baby. So I carried the baby. I trained her as my own. So one day, one day, you came to my office. You said that you are looking for a baby you dropped so so years back. I was looking at you. I asked you some questions. And you answered me. Immediately, I know the baby belongs to you. Wait, I'm, I'm confused here. Alison. Which baby are you both talking about? Hold it. Yeah. Hold it, sweetheart. Please, hold it. Go on. You're talking about a baby. Yes. Automatically, I know the baby belongs to you. I needed the best for my child. But I was poor. I know you are wealthy. I believe you can take good care of her. So, so I decided to, to bring her back to you as a maid. But you are wicked. You are heartless. You killed your own baby. You are you wicked woman. Madam, please, please, just, just sit down. Because right now, I'm confused. Huh? I'm confused. Baby, baby, baby. Alice, what is going you on? You caused it! I caused what? Cost, you caused it. She's talking about our baby. I got pregnant. You were in your final year. I didn't notice the pregnancy on time. It was six months and I came to you. You said you were not interested in getting married to me that I should have bought six months baby. That was taking a big risk. You wanted me to kill myself. You left school, you graduated. I was still in year two. I carried this baby, only me. Gave this baby life. I had no work. I had no sponsor, no help. I wrapped my baby, I remember that night vividly. I wrapped my baby in a pink blanket. Exactly. And I kept her in a brown basket. Exactly. Dumped in front of your motherless home. Took note of that name and it stuck in my brain. Hoping that someday that I will see my child again. And I came to your office. You deceived me. Because I don't want anybody to take my baby. Hey! You told me that some of the person adopted my child. You were not on duty that day. But lo and behold, it was you all along. With I don't want anybody to take away my baby from me. But I brought her back to you. I did. You are the wicked. Oh, what is 
brought that woman in here. You brought that child to me as a maid. <laughs> the child I gave life to and I took her life again with my hands. <laughs> No, somebody wake me up. It's all a dream. It's a nightmare. No, no. Death, where are you? Someone should kill me. I deserve to die. I deserve to die. I deserve to die. Oh, God. You treat me with hate. Oh, God. What does it 